Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which Wouldn't Otto, any uh... Shouldn't you be... <sighs> Thank you. Hero. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Waluda's. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the Royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the Fang. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in the Walud as Why work in Mexico? Do you know one cannot? One must instead see the bigger picture. The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin, the Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the Royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to... Well, not... The people of the hideaway must hear the news. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. 
What can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. Someone looks pl nothing at this. Mm. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Blackthorn. What is it? I wanted to tell you that. Clive, have you come seeking the gift of not? No. He... Oh my! <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is the <laughs> big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today. Only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. Finally, a new... It does. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait... Hippocrates. I need to know what he is. Alas. No. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is... But I saw him. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems... To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his... A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself or merely another projection of its power. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. Right. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Barely sat down since you came home. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? No. Ah, oh, but you ain't told. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peace than least of all Sid. You should tell him. Hmm. Well. When you do, be sure to take Mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old Salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Yeah, more running.
And how may I assist you today? Don't let me keep you. Oh, bother. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching. Those go. And we most certainly would. To let them freeze to death, are you? Whatever will young Jill think? Hmm? Damn, the gas lighting was crazy. <laughs> Hasn't been her usual self lately. Have you ever see her with a smile? She's always down in that dungeon of hers, muttering away. I don't have any pictures in. Why would anyone want to do that? Look, if I don't come up with something soon. All right, Clive? What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal. <laughs> Displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water, ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. Is that good old Clive? First things no. first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made oh. up of three major components. There's the plate in here that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The and the sheet. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plate in, everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Black. Well, 
I can't make head nor tell of them. Look up. to the switch. Gav, you're with me. All right, then. So, uh, where do we... There's a river. To... So... More than I'll go more. and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon to bring the stuff back to. All right. Well, you... Please, in your own time. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? Better late. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's up. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked to, but if then let's get back. We
That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Might even be enough for here. Uh... Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. It does, doesn't it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. And there's still it. Those shoulders of yours hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. You can take a day off. Says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me that. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. See, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. Right. That's enough soppy shite. We'd better get... You go on ahead. Oh, after... to go home, boy. Blackthorn. Yeah. Cheers for the start. We should go out on maneuvers to... Or... I'll make good thing. Suppose we'd better give us. <laughs> 